गुड आफ्टरनून माई ये स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑफलाइन क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव जस्ट फिनिश चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड सर्किट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस चैप्टर विथ एक्सरसाइज ओके एंड दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी डिस्कस टूडे विथ आंसर्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स ट्राई टू फॉलो मी एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी अपलोडेड इन द ई पोर्टल सो चेक योर ई पोर्टल ओके so let's start your uh, offline class with this exercise first question is fill in the blanks a device that is used to break an electric circuit is called i have told you many times uh, that the name of the device which used to break the circuit and join the circuit or connect the circuit that is switch okay so first one answer one a the answer will be switch okay so a device that is used to break an electric circuit is called switch okay next comes to b number fill in the blank that is an electric cell has dash terminal how many terminals are uh, present in an uh, electric cell i have already told you that uh, in an uh, electric cell there are two terminals one in the uh, front side and one in the back side one is with metal cap and another is metal disc of the electric cell uh, so the metal cap that comprises of positive terminal and metal disc that is of negative terminal so how many terminals we have got two terminals okay so the answer will be two okay i hope you understood this two question Uh, fill in the blanks these are very easy okay now comes to mark true or false uh, for the following statement first question is electric current can flow through metals as you know metals are good conductor of electricity so this statement is obviously true okay so two number one this statement will be true now comes to b number question what is this now let's see uh, instead of metal wire a jute string can be used to make a circuit this will be totally false statement as you know jute is not a good conductor of electricity it is bad conductor or insulator so the statement will be obviously false okay now comes to third number uh, true false that is electric currents uh, can pass through a sheet of thermocol now first you have to imagine that thermocol is a uh, conductor or insulator as you know thermocol is insulator so it cannot conduct electricity so this statement will also be false i hope you understood this three question now comes to three number question that is explain why the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in figure 12.13 you can see from your book page number 123 that is your exercise question number 3 so here the figure what is been given okay uh, one wire from the metal tip of the uh, of an electric cell that is connected to the uh, connected to the pliers and another end is connected to the plastic end of that pliers that is to the bulb to the bulb okay so i hope their bulb will not glow because presence of insulator in this circuit okay in the center you can see so bulb will not glow in the arrangement as there is presence of insulator in the center okay so here the answer will be the bulb will not glow as 
there is presence of insulator in the center okay of that circuit so this will be the answer i hope you understood now comes to fourth number question that is complete the drawing shown in figure 12.14 to indicate where the free ends of the two wires should be joined to make the valve glow as you have seen this figure i have already drawn it you know so to make a bulb glow again i am drawing this picture means if this is their electric cell are connected to each other through a series of batteries okay then a wire that is connected from metal disc to a switch okay and if there is presence of a bulb that is glowing anyhow due to when switch is on means the switch is connected and that is connected with the metal tip of that electric cell so here we have completed the electric circuit <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so we have completed uh, the diagram figure and electric circuit okay complete electric circuit so the bulb will glow and this is these are the electric cells okay i hope you understood this question now we will proceed towards fifth number question i'm dropping this all question is what is the purpose of using an electric switch name some electric gadgets that have switches built into them so the purpose of electric switch i have already told you the main purpose of electric switch uh, these are the devices which are mainly used to connect or to break any electric circuit okay so there are many uh, electrical appliances where the switches are used just like refrigerator television then electric cooker and so many items you know okay so i'm writing the answer try to follow me okay this is fifth number question fifth number answer you can write the purpose of an electric switch is to complete or connect in bracket you can write connect or break break the circuit okay now electric gadgets 
electric gadgets that have switch just built into them are fan refrigerator television then microwave oven electric cooker etc okay so here we have seen in how many purpose are there okay the main purpose is uh, to connect or to break the circuit and uh, there are so many types of electric gadgets that have switches built into them like fan refrigerator then television microwave oven electric cooker etc okay i hope you understood this now comes to next question that is six number question that is would the bulb glow after completing the circuit shown in figure 12.14 if instead of safety pins we use an eraser the answer will be obviously no this answer i will not write i am discussing with you as you know rubber is an insulator this is not a conductor of electricity so this will not make the circuit the circuit complete so bulb will not glow with this okay i hope you understood now comes to seven number question would the bulb glow in the circuit shown in figure 12.15 here in case of 12.15 there is there any uh, switches present there no switches are there so the figure in this figure in this circuit the bulb will not glow you can see not proper connection okay understood this question as you can see in the both side different wires are actually used okay different wires are used and using next question question number 8 using the conduction tester on an object it was found that bulb begins to glow is that object a conductor or insulator this answer is also very very easy conductor tester okay using a uh, when uh, by testing a con by testing with a conduction tester it was found that bulb begins to glow is that object is conductor insulator when bulb begins to glow then the uh, object must be conductor okay so this will be the answer and the ninth number question that is why should an electrician use rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch at your home now i'm writing this answer okay so let's start with that nine number question that is while repair electric switch at our home because at our home electrician use rubber gloves as these rubber gloves are insulator and this protects the electrician from avoiding electric shock okay so the answer will be written like this here the question number 9 and answer you must write like the way an electrician 
इलेक्ट्रीसियन यूज रबर ग्लोव्स रबर ग्लोव्स वाइल रिपेयरिंग एन इलेक्ट्रिक स्विच इलेक्ट्रिक स्विच ओके नाउ बिकॉज बिकॉज रबर ग्लोब्स आर इंसुलेटर एंड दिस प्रोटेक्ट दिस प्रोटेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रिसियन from avoiding from avoiding electric shock okay electric shock i hope you understood everyone this answer an electrician used rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch because rubber gloves are insulator and this protects electrician from avoiding electric shock i hope you understood this answer now till another question is left that is the handles of the tools like screw drivers and pliers used by the electrician for repair work usually have plastic or rubber covers on them can you explain why the same reason of this tools like screw drivers and pliers are used by electrician for repairing uh because plastic is an insulator and plastic hand uh, those plastic those uh, screw drivers made of plastics this protect the electrician from the electric shock so this will be the answer i am not writing the same answer okay i hope you understood and uh, see you soon in the next online class uh, with a new chapter from your ncert book science okay that will be your last chapter okay okay students that's all thank you have a nice day stay blessed